<laughs> don't move your body too far away. Okay. So, and don't feel like you have to smile or anything like that, because all I want to do is just ask you a few questions. So, just tell me, okay. what, what is your name and where are you from? Uh, I'm Chloe and I'm from Melbourne. Lived here all your life? Yes, I've lived here my entire life. Okay. What are you doing here today? Well, I'm learning about the Miss Makes Code, and it's where we get to discover what coding means. And we get to play these fun apps and all these cool things. Like what kind of cool things? Like we get to make our own apps, and we learn how to create codes. The computer codes, which tell the computer what to do. Is it hard? No, it's not too hard after you got the hang of it. Basically, it's like, it's like playing a game, except without like the left, right, up and down button. It's just, so you have to use these blocks called command blocks, which help you, which help the character move around. And at once at the end of most of them, you get to create your own game by using all of the blocks and your knowledge that you've learned. Is your game like everybody else's? No, no one's is the, exactly the same. It's all got a little different. It doesn't matter whether you've got the exact same blocks, they would be in a different order to someone who's, who has the exact same blocks as you. Sounds cool. So you get to make your own unique program. Yeah. Yep. What's the best part about your program? Um, well, there are quite a few different programs I made. One's the Flappy Bird, and basically, it, I created it so it's never ending and you just gain points automatically no matter what, you're just gaining points. And that's the object, is to gain points. Yeah, and you're supposed to have an end game, but me and Beth, one of my friends, just, we don't put in the end game block. <laughs> we just make it ever ending. Pretty cool. Okay. How did you hear about this event? Well, I don't really know because my mum told me about it and she had already signed me up because she knew I was quite interested in codes. Okay. So, I don't really know. What's the best part about today? The best part is probably just making all the games and it's so much fun. Wow. Okay. I wish I was here at the beginning because <laughs> then I could have coded something. Yeah. Okay. What has been the hardest thing of today? <laughs> The hardest thing, I don't really have one, because I've found it, it's run pretty smoothly, except when I've forgotten to add a block or two, <laughs> it just didn't want to run the program. So you need all a couple of blocks to actually make programs run. Like some blocks you actually need all, all the time or else they just, it doesn't, the program doesn't run properly. Right. So um, would you recommend this to uh, your friends? Yeah. <laughs> Why? Um, because it's loads of fun. I sure, I'm, a, I'm sure everyone sh would should enjoy it too, and not just me and some of my friends. It should be everyone. Any sound bites you want to hear? Because I think I got it all. I think you did. I heard some very good stuff from you there, Chloe. It was amazing. Um, yeah, I guess. Uh, have you? What, what do you think? Um, about girls coding, like what, like you know when people talk about code and they're like, hey, you know, that's, have you ever, what, has anyone ever said to you anything about girls and coding? Nope. That's good. Um, great. <laughs> High fives. Um, <laughs> Should boys be doing this? Some of them, I've got a few, two friends who, who would be, who like similar stu stuff to me and I'm sure they would like to do it but I don't think m some boys may be interested some boys might not so I don't think anyone should be forced to do it it's just anyone should be able to do it do they think, if they don't want to that's fine do you think more girls should do this mm, <laughs> yeah why I think because it seems a bit unfair that some of us may not be able to do it and some may be sick, so there should be more than one of the things um, going on. Because then, some people who are sick, who are sick, when they get better, they could do it. And that means us who have had fun can do it all over again and have even more fun. Well, 
Okay, let me ask you from a different question then. Is there any is there any difference between girls coding and boys pro coding? I have no idea because I've never tried boys coding and I've never heard about it. Fair enough. Okay. You're amazing.